hello internet um if you haven't noticed as of just a few minutes ago uh, most of my videos i've now made unlisted um they're going to be available for playlists and such but they're not going to be on the channel anymore uh, what I'm planning on maintaining is the history series that I did because I am really um, one of the few prides I've taken out of my YouTube channel is that I can um, see through the analytics that it goes from a lot of high school um, inf intranets, which makes me really happy that people are using it in the classroom. So I'm going to keep... Um, those going, they will always be available. But I owe an explanation at least to a few of my viewers. Um, people like, I would probably say the two or three people who still watch my channel, people like Anakantavad, people like Technoblix, even people like my buddy Brett. Um, I owe you an explanation. So, it's 2015. I have been on YouTube since 2007. Um, back when I was more or less a parrot for Richard Dawkins, uh, in the golden age of whatever YouTube atheism really was, I enjoyed a period of relative stardom. I don't know what you'd call it, but I had a pretty good run. Uh, as I went on to higher education, university, I got less frequent with my video making. And I s really lost my interest in atheist activism, eventually becoming really alienated from the entire movement entirely. Um, and... I tried to reinvigorate it with this year of vlogging every day. I thought that if I was consistent, things would get better and I would be able to um, articulate myself better, put it into good presentations. And really, even though they wouldn't be the best made videos, I would at least be producing something that people would watch. Uh, I don't, I'm not expecting vlog brothers, but I thought that I could... Um, build something and I'm at this point in my life where I'm doing a master's degree right now it's my second one and I just recently have been told that I've been accepted to do a PhD and so I'm going to be working seven days a week 80 hours a week for the next possibly five, six, seven years. Realizing that it would be way past the time when I had been in YouTube for 10 years before I could actually get into a situation where I wouldn't be working at that kind of schedule uh, kind of gives me pause. Um, there's also the matter that of my public appearance uh, things like my Facebook and Twitter and my YouTube channel should reflect who I am, or at least be a reflection of who I want to be. The internet isn't exactly the anonymous zone it was when I first started this channel, and I don't want myself or my partner to lose opportunities based on some YouTube video that made someone angry. I'm not saying that that's the reason I'm giving it up, but it's one of the reasons why I'm cleaning up the channel before I go. I've kind of come to the conclusion that in order to cut it in YouTube, the pirate radio days of YouTube are over. And if I wanted to succeed as a YouTuber, I would probably need to be doing more effort per video than I currently have the money or time or really desire to do. So 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put my foot down and stop with this, this now going into my eighth year of half-assedly trying to bring back what happened during the golden age of YouTube atheism and realize that YouTube is a different place now. And it's not a place that the stuff that I want to do belongs anymore. So in order to express, like I still, as you saw with the videos, I still think at a mile a minute and have ideas about everything. And I'm st I still haven't learned to not be conceited into thinking that it's something someone else wants to know about. But I do have my work, which heavily involves writing. I do have the podcast that I do with uh, my with the committee over at um, gradcastradio.ca. And I also am trying to stick out with my feelers for some more projects. I think that the next step for me is not to do these talking to camera videos. Um, the future of this, of this, this Tristan person is probably going to be some sort of blog. I think that if I think my ideas are worthy of being mass produced or mass distributed, I should say that it deserves to be done in a format where I am not going to be judged by the flashiness of my, my uh, videos, you know, um, where I have the power to do something that's worth, re worth uh, consuming. And uh, what I'm doing is not mediocre. I would rather run a good blog than a mediocre YouTube channel. And I'll probably make another video after this one with uh, information as to where you can find that. But for now, I am finished with making YouTube videos. Obviously, it's not the platform for what I want to do. And I'm going to try it in writing. I'm going to try, maybe I'll get involved with another podcast. Uh, I, you never know. Um, if I find anything new, I'll put it here for the few people who follow me around. But honestly, I have so few people still following this channel that you can probably all just personally keep in touch with me. Um, if you're still interested in hearing about stuff that I'm doing, maybe you can message me on, on YouTube and I can um, find a way for us to keep in touch. I'd like to keep in touch with anybody who still wants to, uh, wants to talk, but um, it's too, it's too much. It's a, uh, I'm going to move on to other things. I'll still be watching. I'll still be commenting and I'll still be liking, but it's time I hang up my guns. And yeah, it's been a long time coming and it's, um, uh, it has been a lot of self-denial in the process, but, um, if this is the last video, if this is the last time you see my face, I hope that something I had produced in my eight years of doing the Tristan PJ channel has inspired you or gotten you to even think, hey, that was interesting. Honestly, if I made any sort of impact on you through my videos, I'm extremely happy. Um, I hope that you can find me on other things if you really want to do my stuff, but it's time I go. Anyways, I'm even dragging out my time here. You guys have a good one and I'll see you when I see you.